team that I put together of these, um, let's see, it's called the United Family of Anomaly Hunters. A lot of our work has been on Fox News, CNN, all the main shit, Huffington Post. Over 1 million downloads of these images from the space agencies and over 60,000 anomalies documented, things that shouldn't be there. And then being able to correlate them with things that we've seen here in terms of run-down structures, broken parts, uh, even uh, ancient buildings or ancient structures that are kind of weathered or flooded. And I said, man, and I just, this it has to be a link. And then that took me into ancient tablets. So I got into tablets, and I saw the thing the tablets were talking about people living on Mars. And I said, oh, my God, this is the connection. And then from there, I just dove in uh, head first. I was going crazy. I mean, I must have devoured, I don't even know how many, well, well over a thousand, you know, different tablets, different papyruses, stainless gold, ancient texts from all around the world. Then I started going to speak with indigenous tribes, wisdom people, sages. I just didn't stop, man. I just kept going 38 times now around the planet. And, and that's where I, I made the connection. That's how I got into ancient civilization. Yeah. By seeing something in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so we have these experiences of life that, that really are patterned and interrupt and push us beyond our current paradigm that we can't explain, um, that, that pull us forward, I feel like, uh, what we're here to explore and share with the world. And that's so very much your case. And we've had many experiences traveling the world. Is there any particular profound experience that sticks out that really uh, solidified your desire to like make this your life's work? Um, well, well, <laughs> I know there's been many. Yeah, there's been a few. The one was the out of world experience, you know, and really the one that really the thing that triggered me into looking for Mars in the first place. So I would tell you, so, you know, but there was a situation where I was looking on this huge project and I, I bring this project up because I think the project is somehow linked to this experience. Why? I don't know, but I think it is. I, I decided after studying um, the binary solar system in the universe that binary is more common than a singular star. And our sun also then now finds itself hypothesized based on its movement that we are in a binary solar system, that there is another star out there, a brown dwarf that you can't see with the naked eye. It's way, way out there, far beyond the orbit of Pluto, and it orbits our sun now that we discovered every 4,200 years. But at the time, I didn't know that. That was This was new science. Back then, I just knew that through the procession of the equinoxes, our sun was speeding up and then slowing down. And I said, How, what can make something speed up by 2,000 years? It must be breakaway speed. So it kept that breakaway speed to go around and orbit something. And so I thought that that was linked to a lot of ancient texts that I saw that talked about these cyclical catastrophes. And I thought that these catastrophes were linked to this additional gravitational field. So I decided to build this underground shelter system <laughs> called Fort Terranova, <laughs> which I did. <laughs> it was on the History Channel uh, in Countdown to Apocalypse uh, years ago, back in 2013, I believe it was. And it, it can save the lives of 360 people underground. So it's about the size of three Walmarts. <laughs> so Damn. small place. It's, it's huge. Uh, it's powered by a, a diesel, uh, a turbine diesel engine. Unfortunately, I wish I could get something else, but I didn't have any other tech at the time. That's what this one is powered by. Uh, and it's dome structures underground, townhouse living underground. That I had left that particular project that day. I came home, sat down on the couch, and I was just watching ESPN. And all of a sudden, the room just turned this lavender color. The TV went woom and just shut off. And I thought my kids were playing a joke on me, so I looked over my left shoulder because they lived right. The boys lived on this side. The girls lived on that side at the time. And nobody was there. And when I turned around, these two beings were in my face. The chair was maybe about the same height as this chair I'm sitting in now, so they couldn't be more than four and a half feet, maybe tall, because I'm about 6'4". And their eyes were like uh, almonds, but not not real. Almost like they looked plasticky or kind of uh, artificial, like they were covers, not real eyes. And I was screaming, you know, like, like I said before. No, no sound was coming out of my throat. Um, but my, I did feel like my brain was shaking, the inside of my skull. I can feel this vibration and just shaking, shaking, shaking. And I, at that time, I was married. So this was a while ago, my, my, my first wife. She was in the room behind the next wall. Kids, two, gir two boys in that room, two girls in the other room. Nobody heard or saw anything. This lasts for maybe, I'm estimating, maybe a minute at the most. Not that much time. Um, and then they literally just turned around and they... They don't walk like a normal walking gait. They just kind of bounce or dangle. But they went through the wall. And then the lights came back on. The TV came back on. And I ran around the house and scared the hell out of everybody. 
one of my sons is completely estranged from me still to this very day. He doesn't, he's afraid, he's horrified. Um, he, he thinks that whatever that experience was, it's gonna, it just are gonna affect him in some kind of negative way. So we really don't even communicate anymore. This has been decades now. So uh, it just, you know, didn't have a good effect on my family when, when I got divorced. Not particularly just from that, but that was part of the, like the straw, you know. Um, they couldn't understand all the things I was researching. And what I was into was like, the heck, my, my w- ex-wife's mom was telling me that I was worshiping the devil with all this stuff. The devil, I'm like, what are you guys, I'm just researching this stuff. It's interesting. You know, so long story short, but that same night is when I heard the words Worldwide Telescope. It played in my mind like a broken record over and over and over and over, and it wouldn't stop thousands of times. So finally I said, I got to figure out what this is. This is after the experience. So I went to my computer. At that time, the Google wasn't famous yet. It was Excite.com. So I typed in Excite.com, and I went to uh, Worldwide Telescope. And the first search result is WorldwideTelescope.org, which is still, an op- it's still open today. You can still go there. You can still go in. Now, back then, you had to download the software. Now it's HTML5. You don't have to download it, or you can download it, depending on what you want to do. Um, and then you can look at all the space probe data. You can go into the different Mars rovers, all the missions. You can go to the moon. You can go to different star systems within our uh, known universe. It's all in there. Huygens probe data, it's all in there. And uh, that's really what eventually led me to Mars, which led me to seeing sites that looked like they matched stones in Peru, which made me want to go to Peru after my mom told me that. She said advanced beings were in the tops of mountains in Peru in ancient times. This is in the 70s, she told me this. And I said, I got to go. And that started the whole journey in this, into this ancient civilization thing. And that was one of the most memorable moments in my life that put me on this path and has kept me on this path and in some ways give me the energy to keep digging to find the truth as to what happened to me and what else is out there. You guys hear me now? You guys hear me now? Yeah. My God. I don't know. I just had to reset it. I think. Weird. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know. Um. But it's done. I'm good. How are you? I hope you're well. Thank you guys for coming and checking in. I'm gonna be doing a little craft crafty thing today. Thank you for coming in. Aw. 
Yeah, and Timmy's here too. I don't know if you can kind of can't see him, huh? Today, so, all right, so I have kind of an announcement too. So I ordered new business cards. They're supposed to be coming today. Actually, I, I'm gonna check and see if they're gonna be delivered today and see if they're here yet. But my new business cards are, well, I'm gonna make this little stand to put them in to display them at the cafe that I work at. And the cards are for my new podcast, my new video podcast that's going to be coming out and I'm really excited about. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let me see if I can pull off the design. Yeah, a podcast. Me, me, a podcast. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? <sighs> Let me show you a little bit of the design of what the idea behind it is. I'll put my music back. Put the music on. Let's see if you can see. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Wait. Well, I guess I can. Oh yeah, I just had it. I can put it here. Yeah. This is the design for the podcast and the business cards. It's kind of just off center, but yeah, I'm gonna be having those cards. I'm gonna, this is not really a display meant for cards. It's more like, um, for brochures because this part is so tall but yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna just stick them in there I'll put them like the long way or something like, so they'll stand up sideways and I'm gonna decorate this stand so that it looks nice and people can see, people get an idea of um, what this is all about. So if this comes apart, I'm just gonna like lay it out flat so I can make a design on it. I don't really know what the design's gonna be yet. All right, so this is the front and this is the front inside. So that's the part we're gonna see. I'm gonna do something here, and I'm gonna flip it around and do something here, and then I guess I'll probably do something on the sides too, maybe. Uh, yeah. And I don't know what um, markers I'm gonna use. It. I have some different markers I can try, and uh, pencil to maybe like do a rough draft. Hands only, but you're still so stylish. That's right. I am looking cute, but this is like, this is just not that type of stream today. But maybe I'll let, I'll let you guys see. Yes, they're chipping, but they're very bright. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> oh, the wristband? Oh, you guys haven't, I don't think I've worn this on stream yet. This is my Bruce Lee bracelet. Hi, Luggy, how are you? I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me show you if you can see what it says. It's actually upside down and oh backwards, God. so. <gasps> Luggy! 
Sluggy sub? What? You've been subscribed for seven months? What? Sluggy, thank you! <laughs> I didn't even know you were still subscribed because I don't stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna read it to you because this, uh, the camera view is actually... Oh no, this is right. You guys can see, I think, right? It says... Empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. Like water. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. I love Bruce Lee. <laughs> Thank you, Wuggy! How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. I don't know if you caught the explanation, but I have a card stand display here that I'm going to decorate, which I have business cards coming for to display on this. And the business cards are for promoting my new podcast, which I'm announcing today on the stream. <laughs> I haven't received the cards yet, so I can't show you guys, but they should be coming today. I'm gonna check my email real quick and see if I can get an update right now. Oh, it's my other account. Oh, this account, yeah. first episode released when? Oh, that's a great question, Brendan. I'm so glad you asked. Um, so I still have lots. Well, okay, I have done some recording. I've done some interviews already. And I still have lots of editing to do. So I can only give a tentative release date, but I'm very excited and hopefully wanting to start airing episodes on the 4th of July and if the 4th of July doesn't work for me for some reason it might be on the 3rd so <laughs> hi sleepy welcome thank you for coming <laughs> I'm so excited and I'm very excited. I've just decided um, who the first episode is going to be. It's going to be someone that I think a lot of you guys might know, but I haven't filled the, filmed the interview yet. And planning to hopefully air the first episode as a YouTube premiere so we can all watch it live and then um, I'll have like a little twitch stream after party after the episode so it's gonna probably end up being kind of long but I think it'll be fun. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if I can track this. Actually, I just go on my computer. It's easier. Oh my 
Actually, I have this website open already. Let's see. Turn orders. Order history. Shipped. Can I track it? Order details. Okay, I can track it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to be delivered today by 7 p.m., but not yet, so that's good. At least I have status. Oops, I closed the tab by accident. I don't know what I closed. Or reopen. this all right so hi hey guys <laughs> see I'm here <laughs> so oh should I pull up another little see if I can adjust this view and you guys can actually also see the Oh, wait, that's wrong. Then what's... Um, what is this one? This one? This one. Yeah. Ducky. Okay, just don't look at my private stuff, okay, guys? I think it's small first. Perfect. Amazing. I'm so pro. <laughs> ah, amazing! 
<laughs> How's that? Now you can see everything that you need to see. Right? Yeah. Amazing. Yes, so that's the design for the podcast. These are the themes, as you can see on my business card design. Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh, thank you for the applause, Brandon. Pets, pets, arigato. So I do have some stickers I can use still from my other cards. So let's see. I probably I might like do a little cutout to put something sticking up top here to give myself more room. what I want to write. I haven't decided what I want to write yet though. I got my stickers, my codes, the Kinomo art stickers. I'll put some of these around on it somewhere. What am I going to write though? Light. It's a podcast made in the scary outside since it involves walking home. What do you mean scary outside? It's more like um, like a figurative walking each other home. on that. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. You know, like, there's grass. Timmy loves grass, and I also love grass. You don't like grass? Grass is really good for you. I like only a special type of grass. I see. Okay, what do you guys think? I want to write a message. I want to write something, but I don't know if I should write it here and put the stickers here, or if I should just put stickers up here and write my message down here. Is that like a coffee shop and this sits, this will sit on the counter where people can see it at like waist level? scared. Oh my god, Brendan, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> the contents. Yeah, so, so it's gonna hold my business cards, and I was saying earlier, but like, 
this wall is a little bit, it's not really a business card holder, it's like a, more like a brochure holder. So the business cards are going to be like about this size, so they're going to, if I put them in the regular way, they're just going to kind of be like hidden in there, you won't even really see them. So I'm going to probably stand them up like sideways so people actually see that there's cards inside. But either way, it's not really going to block this. So definitely going to put something here and something here. Just need to decide how I want to design the layout. To do some stuff inside these walls right on both and just stick her up the sides yeah I could do that I have not decided what to write yet though <laughs> draft. We've got a little notebook here. I can draft it. Let's see. Oh, hi, Timmy. Hello. Can I see Timmy? No, I'm gonna be upside down though. This is okay. Just like this. Just like this. We only need Timmy. Hi! Hi, baby. Aw, little cute Timmy! Precious. Oh, you say hi to me. Hi, guys. Yeah. It's been a long time. To me, miss being in the spotlight on Twitch. Sweet emo you got there, Wuggy. Timmy represent. He's so cute. Yes, he is. Oh, by the way, um, are you guys all in my Discord server? Because you're going to want to make sure that you're following all of my channels where I'm going to be posting new podcast episodes going to be uploading on YouTube also uploading on another site called Rumble going to be posting regarding the podcast on one of my Instagram accounts and my Twitter account and I also have a TikTok account. That's my Coffee Cosmos. So basically, I'm going to be posting this under the account of Coffee Cosmos. But the name of the podcast is To Be You.
Timmy, Timmy always helps me pick my tarot card every night. He, he like comes down just to come and pick the card and then he's like, okay, my job's done and he leaves. <laughs> Alright, time to get down to business. Whoop! Alright. So, what's some ideas of what to write? A little quick blurb for me. Are we even ourselves before coffee? <laughs> I bet that's the main message of the podcast. Not really. In fact, I don't even drink coffee every day, if you can believe that. I don't really drink coffee that much at all anymore. I definitely want to emphasize that this is a locally based show, I think. Did you know I've been low, no caffeine for like three months? Brendan, how's that going? can't like like hello obviously gonna go to the dashboard though. Okay guys, how do I get rid of this message? I just want to delete the message. I don't know. Where is the quick delete button? Yeah, what the heck? You looking too, Brendan? I can't figure it out. Oh, ban? Oh, delete? Wait, what? I don't... That looks weird. If I right-click, it's like... Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I got it. That looks weird, though. Timed out for one second, really? What? Well, that's stupid. What's the point? For one second. <laughs> I got it done. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna write on this thing? Let's see. Um, Locally handcrafted, right? Locally, locally crafted with love. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> this has to be really good. This has to be really eye-catching and inviting. I really want to bring people in with this. Can you just focus, you stupid-ass camera? What are you doing? Yeah, so how's that going for you, Brendan? No caffeine. No low caffeine. For three months.
And what was the reason for it? You forget that's funny six months on just decaf oh ah. seemed healthier hmm Nice. Listen to your body and just live by what it tells you. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Stop. Okay. video podcast. Well, it has to say it's new. Featuring individuals in slash supporting the community. Or I could do like community focused Featuring new and growing. Stop! What is wrong with you, camera? I understand. People like to feel like they're helping something get bigger by joining. Yeah.
Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Brendan. Featuring evolving individuals in community. Awakening consciousness, inspiring personal growth, supporting community, finding common values and purpose, walking each other home. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot that I have more new stickers coming. I'm really excited for those ones, actually. It's going to be like this Timmy and this Kimomu just on a little circle sticker like this, like this one. So it's going to be like Kimomu and Timmy face to face. And then TVU. Oh, it's gonna look so cute! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Those are gonna arrive today as well. If you want it to be eye catching, you can even write more than one phrase or a handful of words on the box. Yeah! I know, right? <laughs> TVU. <laughs> I don't want it to be too wordy because then people would probably just look away. I want it to be nice and big and bold and simple enough to stand out where people don't get intimidated like they have to read too much. <laughs> Right? <laughs> no, no. Just the space. So like the space and the space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. see if I can find the, the back side of the design. You're going to see the whole evolution of... Here you go. This is it. That's the back side of the card. Yeah, this was a long process just to decide on what the name was going to be. Like, it's been months. Six months, I would say, trying to decide on a name. <laughs> yeah, are you lost? <laughs> yeah. Yep. It was really hard <laughs> to decide. I did ask for a lot of help, <laughs> but I still couldn't pick. Found you. <laughs> oh my god, actually. That's a really neat idea, Brendan. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yoi, found yoi. <laughs> I like it. Or like, there you are. Finally, you're here, or you made it. 
<laughs> or welcome home. We're gonna make it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I need a bio break for one moment. Be right back, guys. I just decided that since I'm doing podcast business, I'm going to light the podcast candle. stupid camera. Yeah, there's a podcast candle. <laughs> Pretty cute, huh? Alright. What else? What do you think of what I wrote so far? There you are. I like, there you are.
How about that? Can we be friends? <laughs> Get to know your demographic and what's unusual and unique about them. gonna make them think about your box once they see it mm -hmm. I want to know what it's like how about that I think that's what I'm doing. Holy bitch. I fucking hate this thing. Can I just say, oh my god, I have this. I have to show you this now. Because this is so annoying to me. I have this fucking stupid Stanley cup. It's just so damn heavy. If you bump it, it falls over and it's not even spill proof. It's such a POS. I hate it. I hate it. It's a waste of $40. I hate it. I hate it. But it's like how I hydrate myself. But now I need to clean this up, so I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Just threw a towel down. <sighs> Thank God I didn't get anything important. What? Alright, what do you think? I want to write, I want to know what it's like, and then I'll, I might just stick one card on the front here, so people see, well I'll stick it up high, no, because then it'll be in the way, I'll just stick it right to the top, like this. Yeah, just like that. One card right there. It's probably... This is probably like exactly the size that it's going to be compared to the box. Right? So I'll stick that there. And I'll say... I want to, I want to know what it's like. What do you think of that?
There's room here for stickers on the sides. If it fits, you like it? I'll make it fit. So I'll probably pencil a little line. Like this is my space that I have to work with. So like from here. Color. Should we do Sharpie or this other kind of marker? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna color it kind of simply. I don't want it to be too, overwhelming. This will be the writing, the words, and then maybe this will be for coloring. These kind of markers. Oh, I'm really liking blue. So I feel like we should do a little bit of like purple and pink. stuck in I kind of want some pink, but I don't see the kind of pink I would like to use. figure out where I'm going to put the stickers before I start writing. I'm so excited to put these out. It's like
thing is, like, I really need... I want to set up a website. I need to also really need to write, like, a bio. You know, I need, I should, I need to set up my YouTube channel with the bio, so when people go to my YouTube channel, they can see all this information that I want to tell them. Because these, I figure, like, these cards are going to get people to... either be interested in watching my podcast or be interested in wanting to get in touch with me to be on the podcast and do an episode with me. I want to write it a little bit bigger. fails I can always like turn it around the other way <laughs> or I can do what I did with the other ones and cover it with just like plain white paper because I didn't have a blank one that's why I covered it with paper but I can always do that with this one if I really fuck it up I'm probably going to need to make it a little bit thicker because that's hard to see because this is a little bit shiny. Yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker text, aren't I?
little bit ugly, but you can see it better. It's popping for real. room to write to be you there if I want. That's, this is it so far. It's so cute. Should I, put like, I should put like an arrow pointing down, right? I don't know, should I? I think I'm gonna put just the kimono stickers on the side here. Get the basics down, then embellish, yeah. But, excuse me. Yep. So I'm gonna stick a card right here. Which they might have arrived. So card's gonna go right here. Basically, this is all I need. Should I, I might wanna add more color the text. Guys, there's like 
these new birds living outside my place in these bushes and when they sing they sound like a whining dog it's like i know they're birds and i love them but the sound is really really fucking annoying because i kind of can't stand whiny dogs <laughs> Why they sound like that? This looks cool. Much better. Oh yeah, this is definitely helping. So good. I like that little dimension this adds, like a little pop. So. I might need a little bit more. Well, I really do like this look. Focus, you idiot. I'm in like a really name calling mood today. Sorry about that. <sighs> I have other stickers I can use too, actually. stickers on the sides. I think I can, uh, because I don't think I'm going to write anything on the front. I'll just have to card and I'll put most of it. But I am going to color, so I, do, I just want to see how this looks. I'll put some stickers right there. This is the perfect size for this one. Are you okay? That looks awesome. And I can like color around it. And oh yeah, I have to put the... I want to put... Add the link tree code. Oh, you know what I just 
just thought maybe a... I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can still do this. I'm gonna write, make like a little thought bubble around this. Do you think? Because thoughts turn to things. And this is what I thought when I decided to make this podcast. Oh my god! Yeah. That's cute. I know, right? <laughs> so first I just have to make a little bubble. A little bubble. A cute bubble. put the sticker right there so it looks like it's coming from me you guys hear the birds in my head. Alright, so I think I'm gonna put the sticker right here. And I'll just have a little thought bubbles coming up. Can you believe it? I don't know if that looks good.
actually so symbolic. Yeah, because like I did the little hearts because there's love in this I think I colored too much inside the bubble. I wish I did the outside instead. Well, I kind of meant generally because, like. Oh, you mean like. Oh, I think I know what you mean.
getting hungry. This is so cute. Well, I wanted to do more coloring like outside, but now that there's coloring inside the cloud, it's gonna be too much if I I mean, I guess if I use different colors, it might be okay. Exciting. So, I don't really need to do that much more until I put the stickers on and I'll probably like outline them. Maybe I could do these. I don't really need to outline these ones because it might just be better if it looks more. There's so much space on the sides, like, I could actually even put oh another sticker. Switches just subscribed? Hi, Switches. Wow, thank you for the sub. How's it going? Are you, uh... Are you first time? Oh, Jabs! Hi, Jabs! <laughs> I didn't know your username on here. You didn't know I had... What? <laughs> Thank you for the sub! Now I have to make a page for you in my subscriber book. I didn't know I had a friend of... Oh, sweet, sweet. I can't read. I just learned how to read and I read it I read what you said wrong. Thank you for coming to my stream and thank you for subbing. I'm gonna make a page for you in my subscriber book. And I think you're already in my Discord, so when I do that I will share it in the Discord for you. Do you have any re requests? I can draw something for you. Like a little simple drawing or something. Now I get access to Timmy. That's right! You get Timmy emotes. The best emotes. The sun? I'll draw the sun for you. Okay, I'll draw a really cool tribal looking picture of the sun. How about that? It's going to be awesome. That's a good request. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hmm. Right now I'm decorating my stand that I'm going to be putting my business cards in at the cafe. My business cards will be arriving today at some point. So I can put them up tomorrow, so that's why I have to get this ready. 
for tomorrow. Very exciting. This is what the business cards are gonna look like. And this is not really a business card stand, it's a little too tall. So I'm probably gonna have to stand them up like sideways for people to see that there's actually cards in there. Exactly, this is the design. Yeah, so they're gonna look just like this. And I've decided that I'm going to just stick one right to the front of this. So that it will be right there and it will be like continued from this. So I was going to say, I want to know what it's like to be you. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a really good idea. Thank you. I'm gonna think about that. What I can use. I could fill it with crystals. That would be crazy. Okay, now that you know what it's supposed to mean, do you still like it? <laughs> That'll be magical if I put crystals in it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> even better. Oh, thank you. Yay. I end up gonna do little doilies around this. Like my other one. Do I keep hearing like a clicking from this YouTube video? That's so annoying. I'm changing it. That's so annoying. Why would I want to keep hearing clicking? I'm listening to damn music. Did you know that today is a portal? It's 6-6. Six, six. It's a 6-6 six, six portal. And I just realized, oh my god, it's year 24, so that's another 6, right? Wow. Amazing. Six sixty, yeah.
eventually, well, I don't know, I guess if I, if I keep doing Twitch streams, I'm going to need to make some new commands that bring up my new links. I don't know if I'm gonna be Twitch streaming that much anymore though. Portal into France. It's also D-Day. Oh. <gasps> hey, that looks really cool from that spot. It looks so much like smaller and detailed. It actually looks like crap close up. It looks cool from far away. Come on, camera. God, terrible. What is wrong with you? You like it? scallops and doilies. colored thank you I still hear those birds going on it. Crazy. I wish there was more One Piece to watch. So sad. 
Saturday night. Saturday night. That is adorable, wow. The little detail is just like... Everything. Huh? Maybe, so I'll put this... I'll stick a card here and I'll just write like... Oh, whoops, I drew it on the phone. I didn't know that was gonna come over onto the front side. Oh well. And I'll write. Find my new video podcast. says, well, I removed some stuff from the card that I forgot about. Oh, I forgot. See, I had this link here, or I had this other note here before. Watch on YouTube, Rumble, and Twitch. But now, on my final design for the card, it doesn't say that. So that's why I have to write something else.
flashlight. Right leg. Watch the podcast on YouTube. Scan the link tree to watch. Because I'm going to have a link tree sticker here too. And I will, yeah, okay. And when I have the business card here, the one that's going to be right there, I'll just like tape it to the top so you can actually lift it, lift it off and flip it and see the link tree as well if people don't see the sticker that I'm gonna have there with the link tree which is right here so but I still have to wait until I have the card on there to figure out the placement so I guess my project on hold for now. Um, I don't know if I'll stream more later to show the completion, but I need to wait for the cards and the other stickers to arrive before I can finish the design of this. Are you serious? Wait. Guys. Seriously, I missed I missed getting 555 followers. Are you for real? I'm at 556 followers right now. How could I how could I miss that? We need to celebrate 555. Five. Thank you, Wuggy. <laughs> okay, oh, I have an idea. Um, I want to, I want to send you guys to another channel, so I want to, I want to do a raid. I'm going to raid you to this channel that I really like to watch sometimes. Really adorable. And I'm also thinking about inviting this person on my podcast for an interview. Oh my god, Brendan! Uh, Dream, but okay, I'll tell you my dream. <laughs> Alright, let me get my dream journal. I'll read you a quick dream, okay? Be right back. Okay, this is kind of a cool dream. It's like kind of a cool 
different perspective. <laughs> Alright, so this is a dream from May 20th. So, in the dream, I was thinking about the pleasure in being a child. I decided it was much more pleasurable than being an adult. So I decided to focus my energy and went back to start my life over. But it wasn't this life in the dream. It was another, I was another woman. And I went from having two daughters whom I loved very much back to my childhood which changed drastically from the way I had experienced it before. Instead of growing up with my mom and dad and brother, I was adopted for some reason by someone like my aunt in real life. I was looking on all this from the perspective of a life review at this point. I realized that my kids from the original timeline felt more real and natural to me compared to the do-over timeline. So that's it. That's all I wrote down. That was my dream. <laughs> kind of weird, huh? You ever had a dream like that? Where you're like experiencing a different timeline? Or like a different lifetime. In intense, yeah. Yeah. I have like... And also I feel like now that my capacity for perspective has expanded. I have like way weirder dreams, like way more possibilities of things that can happen in my dreams. So, pretty cool, pretty mind bending, I would say. I'm gonna, how do I do this again? I wanna redeem your reward. Thank you, Brendan, for the request. I had one where it felt like I was wandering in a totally different house seeing similar stuff that I owned. And when I woke up, reality felt fake. Wow. That's trippy. Maybe you were actually visiting like another timeline or another dimension or another lifetime. Wow, yeah, if it was that vivid, it sounds like, I don't know, pretty cool. The flick, I don't know, the, those kind of experiences are really, really neat, interesting. Really fun to talk about. <laughs> Parallel, really? Yeah. Cool. Like maybe if you did something different, you would. That was that reality. Um. So yeah, just to recap, I in the works of starting up a video podcast what I announced today and very excited I'm going to be releasing episodes of interviews with people on YouTube and Rumble possibly other platforms but that's what I got so far and make sure you're following my YouTube channel 
Coffee Cosmos one. It's going to be on that channel. And the tentative release date for the first premiere episode is July 4th. Tell us what intuitive stuff you've been doing recently, if anything. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've been pulling a card for myself every single night. A tarot card, and I've been... I'm on the Hay House, um, like, seasonal, um, like, promo deck. I don't know, like when you get like a box, so I get like three decks every three months that are random. They're like new release decks from Hay House. So I'm getting all these other tarot decks and oracle decks and they're really fun. And yeah, I like, I just, I find working with the tarot and oracle decks so natural for me and it's like easy now. I feel really connected anytime I anytime I pick up a deck and shuffle, I'm just like somehow I find the card that is like the most resonant for me at the time and I really like interpreting messages. So I do every night to get in tune with what my spirit team wants to tell me and yeah I've been really really loving that part of my life <laughs> these days I'm very super spiritual now I try to be very like mindful and conscious of every little action I take in my life and the way I do everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Hmm. Yeah, so... I... I think I told you everything, all the important stuff. Be on the lookout for my new podcast. I'm very excited. Hope you guys are excited too. And I want to remind you that my first interview that I'm going to air is going to be with someone you mostly know, most likely know. And I'm very excited for that one. We're going to do a premiere on YouTube so we can all watch it live. And then I'll have like a follow-up Twitch stream with that guest, hopefully, if they're open to it, if they aren't too tired from watching the whole interview again. <laughs> but I think it's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, that's my plan. And hopefully, I don't know if July 4th is going to be a good day for it, or I might just do the 3rd. Because I think, like, at least I'll be off on, I think it's a Tuesday. I mean, on Monday. July 3rd is a Monday. The 4th is a Tuesday. Yeah, so it might be on the 3rd. No, I'm looking. What? That's totally wrong. July 1st is a Monday. The 4th is a Thursday. That's random. Okay, so it's either going to be July 4th, or it might be July 1st. <laughs> or it might be just July 4th, like, afternoon. Probably do that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's why I'm like, mm, I don't know. I guess I could still do the 3rd. It's not like I work all day. But I'd rather, like, rather not have, like, work dampen my day and then have to do this. I'd rather just, like, wake up and be like, okay, this is the day. I'm doing it. 
Yeah, you're right, Jeffs. Okay, so maybe not the fourth. Let's say... Oh, it's like so soon, but like... God, three weeks. One, two, three, and a half weeks. I think I'm just gonna have to go with the first. I wanna, I wanna do the first. Let's do the first. Oh my god, I have so much to do. Tentative premiere is the first of July. I'm gonna go with that for now. So keep your eyes peeled. I will notify everyone in the Discord, my Discord. Make sure you're in there. Make sure you have notifications turned on. But I probably will also tag everyone to make sure you guys all get the message. Yeah, July 2024. Thank you for your support. And now, let's see if we can raid someone. Alright guys, gonna send you over to an AI show. I think you like it. I think it's really fun. I watch it a little bit sometimes. It's been entertaining, so. The channel is AI Jesus. So, thank you so much for coming into my stream today, guys. And. I hope you guys have fun in the Jesus stream. I think it's going. Oh, it's waiting for me. Yeah, rating in one minute. Okay, unless I click right now. You guys ready? Thank you so much, guys. And see you soon with more updates. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, guys.